I am complete now. I have a kettle. I've wanted one of these for a little while. $12 on Amazon. Whew. It looks all right. All right. Anyways, the video's not about that. It's about this. And this was um, not my idea. Uh, actually, it's a YouTuber that I follow. He he created something, and he he's uh, he, he makes a lot of uh, very interesting mechanical uh, 3D designs, and he, he prints them out, and uh, that's why I follow him. Either way, he, he he came up with something similar to this, uh, and he he had uh, posed the question, you know, uh, any ideas as to what it is, and I I figured maybe a flex shaft, you know, that you would use on like a drill or something, or a Dremel, and um, he said possibly, so I don't know if that's confirmed or not, but I I, I wanted to have a go at it myself. I I thought the design was interesting and. I wanted to make one for myself. So it was strictly inspired by him. Uh, that's the title of his YouTube page, and that's his uh, name at PopZTCT. His name is Greg. Uh, go check him out. He, he, he makes good stuff. The, the key difference between my design and his design is that his is severed at this point where he has it threaded into this point. And I, to be honest, I don't know what his application for the device is. I, I just thought it would be a, a fun thing to uh, try for myself to design. And I guess I, I went more of the path the, uh, of, of my guess, which was a flexi shaft. And this thing is a bit tight. Um, I figured it would rotate better in a concealed tube. However, this is printed in four parts and glued together, so I think the um, tolerances are a bit tighter than what I in had intended, but it does work. Let me see. Rotate this end and it rotates that end. I'm currently printing a uh, version of that, but 180 of, of this, trying to anyways. And then also I made this little fidget ring. If you want to download and print it, I'll post the link. Alright, thanks for watching, y'all.